So next one is um, Excel Utils. So Excel Utils is a very crucial one. Uh, Excel Utils means you want to read data in from Excel sheet. You have data in the Excel sheet. Okay, you have data in the Excel sheet. From there, you want to uh, read or write to the Excel sheets. How can you do that? So that is the this Excel Utils. So that's the Excel Utils uh, related. Uh, so utility file. And uh, so you have uh, no this Excel utils are from Apache Pi library. So that's what the question they are asking also. Okay, from where? So you are importing them. So you have to tell mm -hmm. dot Apache dot Pi. So that's the main important. And open XML for the exceptions are you can uh, see XSF. So arg dot Apache y xsf dot user model dot xsf sheet and uh, user model dot xsf workbook so basically we have a workbook first file file inside workbook workbook inside you have many sheets so which sheet you want to read so which sheet you want to read so that sheet you can use it that sheet you can use it so let's see so how to use this so these classes, first you create a file object. So to read the data, I'm just giving, for reading the data. So we are giving an object to two-dimensional array. And uh, so that object to two-dimensional array, so get test data. So string path and uh, string sheet name. And uh, file, source file equal to new file, so path. So then uh, fs equal to new file input stream and source file, file input stream, source file. And XSF uh, no, uh, workbook, you are creating object for a new XSF workbook, FAS, and workbook equal to new XSF workbook and FAS. And sheet equal to workbook dot get sheet. So get sheet, sheet name, get sheet, sheet name. And uh, so from the sheet, so int row count equal to, sheet dot get last row number get last row number so int column count equal to sheet dot get row uh, of zero dot get last cell number get last cell number and uh, so you you got the row count and you got the column count so this is already i mentioned in the two dimensional array so this is the two dimensional array object type right so then two dimensional array if you want to iterate you need a two for loops so that's what we are doing here. So we are creating the object to two dimensional array. So data equal to new object, row count, and column count. So for int i equal to zero, i less than row count, i plus plus. For int k equal to zero, k less than column count, and k plus plus. So data of i k sheet dot get row i plus one get cell and dot to string. So return data. So return a data. And uh, so that's the uh, complete uh, this get a test data. Uh, how to get the data, how to read the data from sheet, how to read the data from sheet. So that's the how to read the data from sheet. So you can write also. So for writing, you have a, so there are some methods. So you set cell data will be there. You can set the, you can get the cell address and you can set the content. There is a set content method is there. So here you, you have a get cell, right? So like same way you have a set cell, okay? So you can set the data in the particular cell address. So wherever you want, you can pass here, sheet dot, in the sheet object you have methods. So all those, these are all ready-made methods. So this is provided by Apache Pi. So Apache Pi, so sheet they are providing, all of them provided there. And then, so get the test data. So you can get the test data. So this is the all about uh, uh, how to read the data. And uh, no, writing for a different method, you have to write. For writing another method, we have to write. So that's the 
uh, how to read and you know write the data through ready-made uh, classes and uh, so methods you can use from Apache Pi. From Apache Pi, you can use them. So from Apache Pi, you can use them. So that's what the uh, this all uh, Excel utilities, Excel utilities. Next, we have a JavaScript util. So JavaScript util is basically all the JavaScript uh, executor uh, related methods. So you want to execute a JavaScript uh, uh, code inside a Java Selenium, then you will use the JavaScript utils uh, you know, class. So here you have uh, methods like, you know, you want to highlight the element, so you want to change color of uh, you know, different uh, and which are the element you want. You want to get the title. So you can get the title by WebDriver methods. Even you can get the title by JavaScript code also. You can get go back to the previous page. You can forward. You can go front with a JS code. You can refresh uh, a page. You can uh, generate the alerts. You can generate the confirmation pop-ups. You can get page inner text. So you can click element by JS. So you can send the keys using, uh, no? uh, you can send the keys. And uh, that means you can type, right? I already told, you can type, you can click elements. We already discussed this. You can scroll down the piece, right? You can scroll down the piece and you can, even you can scroll down with the height, particular height base, you can scroll down. Even scroll page up, you can scroll up and even scroll into view a particular element visibility. You can scroll up to the particular element. So the, how to do all this? So draw the border, you want to draw some border, you can do that. Add a new tab with a JavaScript code. How to do that? So let's, let's discuss one by one methods. So this, I, I'm creating a class and then declared a WebDriver driver. So public JavaScript utils, WebDriver driver. So this dot driver equal to driver. So public wide flash method. So this will highlight the element, okay? This will highlight the element. So JavaScript util, JavaScript executor, so JS equal to driver. So basically we need a, so typecasting here. So driver is a web driver uh, variable and this one is JavaScript executor interface. And JS dot execute script arguments of zero dot set attribute style background yellow and border. So five pixel red. You can assign uh, the you know, border and also the background how you want to tell it. So that's what I'm doing here. You are setting the, so these attributes. You can change color, whatever the color you want, background, whatever the color you want, this one, okay? Red dot sleep, you can do that. And js dot execute script, arguments of zero dot, set attribute of style border, solid two pixel white, and element you can give. So the element, so which element you want to, again, remove the highlighting. See so here you are highlighting, and here we are removing the highlighting. Then change color. So you want to change a different color. You want to give your own color. Then you can go for the, so string color, web element element, and JavaScript executor, JS equal to JavaScript executor of driver, and JS dot C, all JS dot execute script method we are calling. Any JavaScript code you want to execute, you are using only execute script method. So which is, declared here and implemented in all the browser classes. So JS dot execute script, arguments of zero dot style background color, and you can give the color, which color you use. So this is the parameterization. You're doing a parameterization. So color, so which color you want to change. And on this element, you can change the color also if you want. And then 
get title by js get title by js javascript executor js equal to this is again same i am using uh, return js dot execute script return document dot title and dot to string so document dot title to string and a public void go back by javascript code so javascript executor js equal to javascript executor of driver and js dot execute script history dot go minus one that means it will go to back so again js dot execute script history dot go one that means it will so front page it will move so js dot execute script history dot go zero that means it will uh, no refresh the browser it will refresh the browser so generate confirm pop-up generate confirm pop-up so you, alerts basically sorry yeah, i miss it is alerts so you want to generate some alerts so you want to write some alert message so this is the one j start execute script alert and give your message so that message will show in the alert pop-up window alert dialog window that's what the how to generate the alerts how to generate the confirmation pop-ups so this one j start execute script so confirm uh, so you give the message what message you want in the confirm dialog that one so get page inner text so this is another interview question how to get the page inner text so javascript executor js equal to javascript executor of driver so return js dot execute script return document dot document element dot inner text so i'm getting the so inner text of an element so dot to string dot to string so public void click element by js click element by js so web element element and js dot execute script of arguments of zero dot click on this element so i already explained this method even uh, sending keys without uh, send keys method i already explained this also so execute script of document dot get element by id if you want to type by element id so you can do that so parameterization and do yes. so you you can so type based on the element id also id i'm parameterizing here so you can pass by calling this method so you can type value directly so here is the value so dot value equal to parameterization so what value you want to type so in this address so that you can do without the send case method so this is a simple you know any element this will work if there is an id okay other elements are you no know, if that id doesn't have this doesn't work out then you have to change it to another you know uh, so we have another method right so type uh, a value in the element so that method you can use this is by id how to type scroll page down you can scroll the page uh, so like this js dot execute script window dot scroll to zero document dot body dot scroll height you can scroll to so particular height and uh, scroll page down so you can scroll to particular height okay so this is the one you can give the height your custom height you can give how much height you want to scroll down so that you can give here scroll height scroll page up so you scroll page up is j start execute script window dot scroll to document dot body dot scroll height zero and uh, so public wide scroll into view okay scroll into view so web element element and javascript executor j is equal to uh, again the driver j is dot execute script arguments of zero dot scroll into view true and this element you are passing so it will scroll for this element so draw border and uh, so you can draw the particular uh, border even though on so on this element what are the border you want solid three pixel red color it is in bright and add a new tab 
with a JavaScript code. So again, see JS dot execute script window dot open just empty. That's it. Automatically it will open a empty tab. So these are the, all the different methods in the JavaScript utils class. So we are basically already we have discussed a few of them. And uh, so some of them extra we added, but so mostly asked questions, how to type, how to highlight, how to click without uh, normal click. Normal click is not working. How can you click? You can say JavaScript click. These are the questions you will face also. How to get inner text one is the common uh, question. So make sure you before going for interview. So make a note of this. So return document dot document element dot inner text. So two string method. So this is the one you have to write it. So get page inner text, get page inner text. So those things you can uh, get that. So these are the very important methods and uh, tomorrow we'll see a uh, main uh, class that is web driver utils. Okay, web driver utils I'll show you and how to write all the methods you know individual that I am going to combine and wrap it with another method. Okay, so that we are going to see here in this web driver utils. All web driver methods, we are uh, creating a new methods again. So that's what anywhere you go, you need to understand these methods. So the utility methods you need to understand. So all the utility methods you should understand first. So then these methods you're going to call in the your automation code. So that's why these methods, any company you go first, you have to look for the utility methods. That's a primary thing you have to check that. So where is the config file? Where are the data files? Where are the uh, no pages classes? Where are the test cases, listeners? test base, where, how they're initializing first, they will ask this question. So you have to look for this uh, base class where the base uh, no, uh, initialization of the browser and URL. That is the uh, main thing you need to understand the code. So any company you go first understand the framework. What are all the different components are there and how they are going to uh, return the reusable methods, how they are calling the methods how they are initializing the browser. So these things you should know. Where are their uh, no, uh, suit files? And XML file, what, what a pom.xml file, what are the dependencies are there? So these are the things you need to look for. Any company you go, this structure will be common, but more uh, packages will be there, uh, different code, but this structure will be common. More extra packages they will add. Other than that, nothing. Okay, so that's the complete, you know, utilities and uh, initialization of the browser and uh, application URL listeners. And tomorrow we'll see uh, the utilities uh, file. This is a very important. So we need to understand these uh, methods. Okay, I'll uh, cover that tomorrow. Please go through that and 